Saints good y'all shot this food game, man. Back right there with yet another Saints rebuild video. And we back to the offseason grind, bro. A 10-7 year, which saw us fall to the Baltimore Ravens in the Super Bowl 45 to 22. If y'all haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go check that out. Uh, let me know also down below ways I can make the series better as we head into a new season. Hit that like button for your boy and subscribe if you are brand new, man, as we go ahead and get through this series and start the journey again with trying to get another Super Bowl. We came so close. Number two seed. Beating Seattle, destroying Seattle actually, you know, 45 21, uh, beating the Rams 20 10. I'd say pretty beastly and feastly game here against Dallas 31 10 to give it all away against Baltimore. A lot of mistakes came from that QB position. And obviously, like if you like watching intense, that, that's why I'm Coach Sean Smooth, bro. All the intense emotion and raw anger came out during that video. So, I mean, it was probably very entertaining to watch from you guys, uh, very angry for me. But we will go basically into the next half of this. We will go ahead and go into staff week. Let's go ahead and look at the staff moves. Before we get into staff week and see what happened around the league. Uh, you can see Siratani here went ahead and got fired by the Eagles. It was like the Eagles went ahead and cleared house. Detroit cleared house. Green Bay fired the OC. Panthers OC. Football team OC. Falcons OC. Browns OC. Seahawks. A lot of offensive coordinators getting fired. Eagles went ahead and signed Sammy Rios. For their new head coach, let's see, he ran 49ers offense, Bills defense, um, and the Lions went in and took Nick Sirianni from the Eagles. So, like I said, a lot of people fired. Uh, two people have been hired so far. Not a whole lot of probably good talent out there if I wanted to even fire my coordinators, but I don't think we're in a position to do that. I don't think anybody played. I don't think we've had a consistent bad play in the spot yet to where I can blame my OC or my DC. So, let's go and get into the next week. As you see, contract extended and get into these staff week. Here's a quick season recap. Kyler Murray, MVP, Big Fango, uh, Coach of the Year, Kyler Murray, Office Player of the Year, Josh Donald, or Josh Donald, <laughs> Aaron Donald, Josh Martinez, key sessions, and then Patrick Queen ended up being your Super Bowl MVP in case you missed the Super Bowl. Uh, second AFC Championship, their third and their third Super Bowl victory for them. We got to get into that category, man. Our third should be our third then. Third trip to the NFC Championship, third Super Bowl. That's what I like to see. We're going to let the threes run wild, but we got a bunch of staff points to go ahead and spend here. 185 stacked up from the bye week all the way to the end of the playoffs. So viewing my talent tree, uh, let's see what we want to do here. Looks like we got everything. Counts as a scheme fit. Let's go ahead and get this last one right here. Get the XP boost up for O-line. Get everybody a scheme fit. Got to do that. That's a, a big chunk of my points out the way. Found a youth. Hit development player. I'm not really worried about any of those. You said one talent tree, not worried about that. Uh, what is this one that's only one or two? Oh, the refund, I'm not worried about that. Let's see, let's see. Looks like our OC is pretty much maxed out. This is boost impact blocking for receivers. Not too worried about that. Uh, the price makes perfect, it's good. Defensive coordinator. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of work to be done on this side. What's this down here? Two out of two, this is boost tackling for corners. I'm not really worried about, but it could help the press. And then what's this side? Am I more worried about this side? Pursuit, hit power, and strength for D-line. Strength or press. I feel like the press will help more. I'm gonna go with this side. I'm gonna go with this side. Get that up by one. Go ahead and get the press boost here. And let me go more over to player personnel. I have not touched any of these at all. Uh, this will be likelihood office line, free to sign through free agency. Left in, right in, safeties, scheme fits have increased interest. Mm, mm, mm. I'm not that impressed. <laughs> I'm not that impressed. Let me go back over here. I can spend another 32 points to get the, yeah, plus three boost. Yeah, I need that. That'll be how we spend our staff points. We just upgrade our defensive coordinator a little bit more basically getting us more press from our corners because you saw a lot of times they were getting beat off that press in case you you know have missed it we do have uh benjamin turner our deepest coordinator four three scheme uh multiple power runs scott anderson which i kind of works in i mean obviously i'm running four six defense and a vertical zone run uh scheme so you think my coordinators will be off that but we kind of coordinate together and get everything written the way that they need to be done so I'm happy with it. We just came off a season where we had one of our best defensive years ever. Now we slacked off last year in two big hits, but I think that's more so the player than the corner. Now, if we have multiple seasons where, you know, we're kind of struggling on that back third, then, then we're going to see a fire, you know what I'm saying? But let's go into these upgrades and get into these resigns. Starting out mock draft three, before we go and get into retirements, see how the draft is shaking out this time. We got Miguel Rivera, still the number one pick on back-to-back -back mock drafts. 
uh, Brett Ingram, Alonzo Hayes, first quarterback going number four to the Giants. Who do they got us picking up? Oh, there we go. Ooh, An offensive tackle, right tackle Cam Maddox. Day three. Me tell my name, but I got, if that's day three possibility, I might have to go pick that up. 40% completion. Do we have any of this stuff like run up? A awareness, D run block. Ooh. Run block kind of booty cheeks. Looks like his athletic beauty is good. Be stamina. I mean, maybe if it's day three and he's around, I can go ahead and pick him up and see what he's talking about, but not before day three. Ooh, Bobby Wagner went ahead and retired after 13 seasons. So that's somebody going off the team. I think we only had him signed to a one year deal anyway. I might have given two, which would save us money. Uh, Michael Hyde as well, Levante David, Travis Kelsey out here, Adam Thielen going. So now, you know, we're gonna start seeing some noble names. Rob Romkowski, let me know who you guys see that's very notable to you. I saw uh, Melvin Gordon up there, Nick Foles, Latavius Murray, AJ Boyer, Kirk Cousins, Case Keenum, Zach Ertz. Mm, a lot of notable names. Andy Dalton's going, RG3's out of here. No coaches though, which is interesting enough, but that's a lot of notable names. And as we get deeper and deeper in the series, more and more people that you know are gonna be out the door. Uh, but we do have some players ready to negotiate. We got 56.4 milli uh, as we come into this last session of re-sign to get these people. Uh, Darrell Thompson, I think he did enough to earn a contract. He filled in very good uh, for that cornerback spot, that nickel spot. So I think at least, it's, yeah, I'm good with that. A two-year deal, give him exactly what he asked for. Come on back to the squad, right? You earned it. We got Andres Pete here. I mean, you're seeing a little bit of regression. regression. He's at a 76 overall now. He's 30, 31 years old. What's his... How much did he lose? Minus three morale. Looks like he didn't even hit really regression. I don't see anything really coming off of him. So no regression yet. Just a 76 overall. He's getting older. Uh, I think another one year deal, two million. Can't replace good offensive linemen. I'm just gonna tell you that, bro. Like you gotta go ahead and get the offensive lineman while you got him. Very good backup. So I think I will try to get him. You know, let's get you a three year deal. Maybe lower the money a little bit. Glad you stayed. All right, now we got Pete Werner right here, man. Three years, 13.2 million. Is he worth it? I don't know. 71 zone coverage is pretty good. You know, once the boost goes away, it'll be 74. So, I mean, it's actually a pass coverage linebacker, which is, you know, I love those ones. Uh, you know, I said, let's bring him back. Let's see if we can get him back. Oh, he wants to play for, okay, cool. Test out free agency, see how that work for you. You're not going to bring, I'll keep track on that. Three years, 13.2 million. Basically about like 4.5 million a season. Let's see if he gets more than that in free agency. I bet you he don't. Uh, last two here, David Oyamata and Ruben Foster. Uh, Oyamata, 32 years old, 75 overall, down to a star dev. So that regression hit heavy. Look at that. Minus one, only minus one to a block shit though. So I mean, I can live with that. Minus 12 regression. How much are you asking? You asking for four? I think I gotta let you walk, bro. We're gonna go defensive tackle in this draft heavy. I think I let David Oyamata walk and we try to go in a different direction. Oh, damn, I'm back all the way up. We go in a different direction now. I mean, he's just getting older. The aggression's hit down. He's not even an 80 overall no more. Uh, so I think I let him walk. And then Ruben Foster, I mean, you held it down. Uh, by all means, you held it down. You did what I needed you to do day in, day out. Uh, but I don't, let, me, let me look at the stats. I don't know if you did enough to earn another contract. You didn't really wow me. I wasn't finding myself saying your name a lot. Uh, 38 tackles, 28 solo, no sacks. He had an interception, seven catches allowed. How many uh, downs were you playing? 415 downs. So, I mean, you know, okay, so half the downs. So, let's look at hey, did you do half the production last year with the Giants? Mm, I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you know, the down, I, I, I can say I didn't really see him make mistakes. Asking for much, so I'm not even mad at it. One year, 3.5 million. If he wants to sign back, come on back. Are right, you going to test out for agency too? That's cool. Peace out, everybody. Let's go again to next week. Like I said, we're not going to. I mean, unless he wants to sign a really cheap deal, which you know, I kind of feel bad even offering this up. But like, I'm not, I'm not giving you big baller money. But I'll at least throw out a, you know, I'll at least throw out an offer. Let's get a free agency and see what they got for me, man. 45 million to spend. We can definitely said we fixed the cat problem at least. Now let's go fix that ring problem. Well, 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 would you look at the offensive lineman on this list? Teron Armstead is back on here. 88 overall, 34 years old. I'm still at Gordon work, though. 24 years old, 80 overall. I'm going to let him work. What I got on my right guard, 84 overall, Ruiz. 
I mean, we could definitely bring one of these dudes in and help solidify the offensive line even more, but we didn't lose anything over there, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, what are my quarterback options? Matt Jones actually hit free. <laughs> he hit the free agency market. Uh, one year younger than Garland, one overall less, so that's not going to help me out at all. Jameis is back on here. Come on. I mean, we can go find us a nice, good backup quarterback now for maybe a cheap salary. Let, let them compete with David Irving. Let's see. David Mills, Nick Mullins, Kyle Trask, Ian Books there, Mark, Marks Mariota, Cal. Maybe it's just the fan of me, bro, but I'm about to go see if I can bring Cam Newton to the Saints, but I'm not, obviously I'm not offering that big of a deal. He's going to be a backup uh, regardless. So, I mean, if he signs, he signs. We drop this down to one year, $3 million deal to be a backup QB. I'm not mad at it. And then we got to go fill some other holes, man. So obviously there's a lot left over. Um, I can, ooh, Travis, Travis Etienne. Alva Kamara, Lamar Crothers, go switch our offensive mindsets to a run heavy. I mean, Travis Etienne could be a receiver too. So like, that's a lot of receiving. <laughs> hey, no, nah, let me not, let me not, let me not. I'm about to spend my money stupidly over here. All right, any fullbacks though? They're like, ooh, 25 years old. You're not looking for much, 76 overall. That saves me a draft pick. I mean, if he wants to come sign, let me see. Let's get him for four years, about 3 million a season. Is that enough to put me over Cincinnati? Yes, sir, it is. So we're going to take that receivers. I like my receiving course. I'm not even going to touch it. I love my tight end core. So I'm really not touching that. Offensive line, 80, 76, 90, 84. With backups in behind them. We're fine there. Left end. Uh, Reggie Holt, I'm going to let eat over there. Now, defensive tackle. We know where we get this position. I know I'm going to draft one. But it would help to still get somebody good. Ooh, 26 years old. Christian Barrymore, that might be the best commodity that you go find on here. 26, star dev, 85 overall. I got to throw the kitchen sink at this man. Let's see, you, you a four-year deal. I'm going to up this $40 million, $40 million offer. If that's too much, I'm going to come down. That's just barely above the bill. I could only imagine what Buffalo gave him. Oh, I gotta, I gotta up that offer, bro. I cannot risk losing this to Buffalo. I cannot risk losing this to Buffalo. Five point four million. I'm not gonna risk losing this to Buffalo. There we go. Give me, give myself a little breathing room. I'm not, I'm not risking it. I can get. Hey, yo, we can go all in on like a Super Bowl run right now. Get Aaron Donald. Go Aaron Donald, Barrymore, Marcus uh, Davenport. Have Reggie Holt still come in. Uh basically be our rush defensive tackle because honestly yeah because we have no i mean trey flowers would feel that yo i mean we could let me see let me see if it's within the realms of realisticism you know what I'm saying because i don't want to just spend all my money over here uh is there any there's nobody ever young that's good over here that i can like use to replace mark mccree is like the best i'm gonna get at lift outside Ooh. Ooh. hey was sean dobson always superstar i think so but look Nick Bolton, star dev, field general. Do the same thing we did last year. Move him to left outside linebacker. Have him go over there and get that work in. That might be something, huh? 25 there. Oh, yeah. We're going to wait. Over. I want to wait and see what Pete Warner get. That's going to be hilarious. All right, cornerback. I think I like my cornerback room. Yo, we were so close. I think we got to go with it, bro. Asante Sammy Jr., I got to get you a corner. Move Holmes into the slot with that star dev, get the, or superstar dev, get the star dev on the outside, matched up with Marshawn Lattimore, bro. Give me a five-year deal. I'm going to up the money to, can I get it to 50? 50 million. Up, oh, down to uh, make deal. 99 point offer. Where does that put me at? That puts me on top. I love it. I love it. We still got 24 million to spend, and I think we go use it on Nick Bolton here. Do exactly what I said. Get him at middle linebacker, move over to left. He wants a five-year deal, 48.1 million. I'm cool with it. 93-point offer puts me... Oh, dang, bro. That puts me 11th out of 16? All right. Um, I mean, how high are you wanting to go, though? 52.1 million. 97 points. Oh, okay, that puts us first. Okay. 97 points was all we needed to go up to first. I think I got I to throw a little bit more, though. I got to go a little bit higher so I can make sure them points go up. 3.8 million in signing bonus, 98 points. I mean, I didn't go up much, but that makes me feel a little bit more secure about it. Now, do we use the rest? I mean, he wants one year's 18 million. So, I mean, we obviously can't match that right now. You know, Buffalo's like turning up on that offer. 
uh, do we go get Cameron Haywood then? You know what I'm saying? And let that work? Or do we go try to get maybe a defensive tackle that can actually rush the passer? Or maybe we keep a regular defensive tackle in, maybe let Barrymore stay in to help with the run support while we're in nickel. That could, that could be an option too. So I think I'm gonna let it rest right here, man. Uh, let's go to see all my overall signings just in case you guys forgot. Christian Barrymore, right now we're over top of the Bills. Uh, got a big lead on Asante Sammy Jr. Uh, smaller lead, but pretty big lead on Nick Bolton. High lead on Malcolm Sanders, and then the only person for Cam Newton. So I think that fixes a lot of our problems. We don't have too many. I mean, obviously you saw the run game last time, but I think that was my fault. As a coaching focus thing, I didn't focus on the right thing. Uh, I think we do got the right team. And these key additions right here, we about to take it to the next level. So uh, let's get to next week. Bro, what? These things don't make no dang shit. I mean, I guess, you know, I guess at least they don't make it easy and just say, you you know, if you got the highest offer, they're just not automatically going to pick you. That's so stupid, though. Like, I had a big offer on the table for you. Had to be way more money. Y'all don't want, and we just went to the bowl, bro. I would think we'd have a lot of pull right now. I mean, congratulations. We got a fullback. At least we got a starting defense tackle, though. I guess I could be happy about that. So let's see what team real quickly that they went to. If it'll you know, show me Toronto Armstead to Atlanta, Aaron Donald went to the Bills. We saw those coming. Jeff T. ends up the Patriots. He just decided to go to Chicago. Sucks. He went to Cincinnati. Sucks. Uh, oops, excuse me. Mac Jones going to Oakland. So there's their new quarterback of the future. You know, hopefully that works out for them. Uh, speaking of quarterbacks, we do still have Cam Newton waiting on his offer. It looks like Washington put in a way better offer. There we go. Give him the same exact offer. Let's see how much. 94 points. Now, it's still not going to be enough, but do we go with Bridgewater then? Or do we go with Cam? I got to save on that bread. Cam, go ahead and go to the football team then. I'm going to go ahead and offer Bridgewater here. Bring him back to New Orleans. How many of y'all happy about that, man? We're bringing Teddy B back to New Orleans. And since I keep asking, I'm just going to get Chester right here. Uh, sign him to a two-year deal, $5 million. I'll take it. Now, we're not out of options. I can go get Xavier Howard, though. 32 years old, star dev. It was just nice to have that youth. I mean, he was 26 years old. Um, really good corner. I don't know how he hit the market. We'll, we'll get Eric Stokes, 26 years old. But I feel like, you know, if I'm going to do that, you got to have, like, some kind of development on you or something to make you feel better than Paulson and Debo. Because, you know, Paulson and Debo still played good regardless so it would just be for that extra boost of like you know having star dev younger player that's good would be the only reason so without that reason i think i'm gonna pass i think i'm gonna just rock out with these next two uh negotiations and see if they work teddy b chat Surratt. and if those don't work you know, we'll, we'll, we'll find another thing to fix them hopefully they work and those will be the last moves we make for friends hey there it goes man both of them accepted the offer so we got a backup qb at least for some competition between him and demi Irving and chat Surratt to come in and be a backup outside linebacker which i love to see uh, obviously now we gotta go ahead and pick the private workout people and who do i want more information on now obviously with our first overall pick we want to go d tackle am i short up on which defensive tackle yet though i mean obviously if brett ingram is there we take him not sure how uh you know convincing that'll be but i mean we've got 80 percent basically for all these dudes and i think i've got enough information off of that 80 percent to go ahead and make judgment on those so i'm not worried about those so let me go see what three people i want to use these uh private workouts for all right and here we go we're going to go with middle linebacker heath carter left us linebacker jerry's route and right in eric barkley see if any of those guys are maybe in the mind of bitching and taking over that first round pick or if i need to trade back into the early second to go pick up so we'll check on those three uh see if like i said if they're worth it or not i would love to get breck ingram but it's looking like we probably won't but i still want to get a defensive tackle with my first pick so i got to get that lineup uh worked out correctly now that we're basically done with free agency with those signings we'll basically you know go ahead and get into the draft uh nothing left for me to do and here we are man into the draft if i need to move myself i will uh but right now we're in the draft trying to see exactly what's about to go down here uh, detroit on the clock you know i leave the clock on just to give myself kind of like you know not too too much time to think i think i should make it more realistic like give myself like what they actually get in the nfl 10 minutes but <laughs> enrique rivera ended up being the number one draft pick middle linebacker out of oklahoma state you know he's probably about to be a dog but as far as the defensive tackle that i want um we're probably gonna have to trade up to get him and i'm prepared to actually use my uh draft picks this year to trade up instead of just like hoarding them and trading back for future years let's try to trade up and get somebody brett ingram is gone so with that i do kind of want to you know what let's let it run 
49ers and the football team. Let's see if I can trade up that high. There it is. I've officially moved up to the 12th pick. Gave up my third, my earlier third, my actual second, and my first round pick to go ahead and move up to the 12th spot to go get, hopefully, the defensive tackle that's going to save my defensive line. It's like Andrew Adams just went, and we're actually two picks away from our selection. I would sit here and say, let's wait, but these people be taking forever to make their picks. Uh, Carolina goes cornerback Dennis Beckett. And who will Oakland select with their pick? Please don't be, yes, cornerback Dominic Graham. So a defensive tackle should still be there. Let's go pick him up. Now I'm probably gonna take two in this draft. One maybe in the later with one of my thirds or fourths. Uh, but for sure, I wanna take one with this first pick. Off my favorites board, I should only have one person missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's nine. Yeah, I had 10. So only one person is missing. So that means we can go get either one of these two. <laughs> I mean, Cedric Blackburn is a very good talent at 80% here. He has B block shed, B finesse, A power moves, A tackling. He's 21 years old. As opposed to Sean Alford, who I think is 22. He's a run stopper. I don't think we know what his block shed is. He's B, B, 22 years old. I think I'm gonna take the younger dude where I actually know all four of his to be really good. Cedric Blackburn. Give me hidden development, baby. Welcome to the squad. Normal dev. All right, as we kind of go through, you know, the first round, we do want to see uh, if any of my other people get picked while I'm back into noticing. I don't think there goes Randy Daniels, who I, I mean, I had him on the board, but I knew I probably wouldn't be able to get him because he was a first round talent as well. I knew I wanted to go defensive tackle this close. Uh, coming to the end of the first round, though, there goes Shane Aldridge as well, somebody else on my board, but I knew I probably wouldn't be able to get Danny Tooney. I'm just making sure. I'm trying to see if that other uh, defense tackle goes Sean Alford. I mean, if he's still there, I might be able to take both of them. Because honestly, as far as, you know, what I was going to do with my second round pick was either going to be him, Eric Barkley, Roman Johnson was another option there. We don't have another pick to, I think, our original third round pick. So that's going to be late. So might as well be a fourth round pick. But ah, dang, there he goes. Sean Alford, defense tackle to the Falcons. I mean, it makes it a little bit easier on my decision. Uh, but I might use the later picks to trade back up higher in the third round as well. Might as well. I'm probably not going to use any of the later picks. I know who I want, and I'm going to go get them. Oh, well, there goes Eric Barkley as well. So now my only option is Ramon Johnson. Yeah, as long as we can make sure he lasts, that would be great. So he did get taken. Now, nah, I mean, I still got dudes right here, rounds two to three. Like I said, we got a late third. So unless we trade back up, we might not be able to capitalize on this. B zone coverage, Jarius route. Do I draft another outside linebacker? I ran 4-6, not too bad at all. A injury, B zone, Z tackle. It's probably going to be for sure more of a zone coverage because his tackling was bad. Or do I go after Malik Daniels? Let's see, B block, shed, C finesse, A power moves. Doesn't really have good tackling. 23 years old. What's that? What's that 45-0? 5-0? I think I'm waiting. I think we trade back up into the early third to get Malik Daniels. But right now we go ahead and pick up Left outside linebacker, Jerry is Rote, Routes. It's not gonna be him, Dad. We ain't even gonna do no giant celebration for this one, but 22 years old, B zone coverage. Come on to the squad, 82 speed, 91 acceleration. This boy about to be coming in and be fast. I, he might take over that left outside linebacker spot if he ain't careful. Earlier fifth, there we go. Third round pick, swap. Our sixth round and our fifth round pick to go hopefully get Malik Daniels. If he's not there, I'm going to be sad and I got to go get somebody else or trade back. But I told y'all this time I'm actually using my trades to kind of move forward. I did have to pause it there on that one though because I had to check and make sure that our player was still there. But here we are in the third round. Unfortunately, my dude got taken. So we only got three more people on our board and I will be taking them with our next coming picks. Uh, receiver Tevin Hadley though. Third or fourth round projection. But when I came in and looked at this stuff, I mean, see catching you like, man, that's kind of whack. My dude is the fastest receiver at the combine and on his pro day. 4-3 I mean, not good on like his quickness and stuff like that, but I'll take the speed and I'll take, you know, the solid catching and see and see if he can turn into a developmental player, maybe even at least on the sorry and the special teams player with the speed that he got. So we'll go ahead and take him. Tevin Hadley, normal dev, 90 acceleration, 95 speed. Boy, you love to see it. And as we kind of go through the rest of this, man, let me know any other ways I can make this draft, you know, more exciting to see. Uh, better for you guys at home to watch uh just 
things make it more exciting, man. Like, do you guys think I'm making the right picks here? I know we don't really get to go through, you know, the, the scouting probably maybe as in depth as you'd like to see. There's just a lot to do. So I try to show you guys like the main points. But if y'all want me to start showing y'all everything that I'd be doing, not everything I'd be doing, but like multiple prospects when I'm thinking about people, uh, I can do that. And y'all can really get more in depth in it with me. There goes Kevin Barber. They ain't take nobody I wanted. So pick here and we pick at 12. So I really can get both these dudes and be kind of done with my draft here. So let's see, are they both still here? Yes, they are. Daniel Ingram and Cam Maddox. I'm gonna take Cam first, you know what I'm saying? I got to, he got my name on him. A awareness, D run block, 20 years old, 317, six foot five out of Notre Dame. What was his numbers like? Five, one, three, not too bad. Really quick though, four, eight on the 20 yard, four, three, one on the three cone. Pretty good broad vertical, pretty good athlete, very agile. So we'll probably expect to see an agile uh, right tackle here. Let's just go ahead and get him and see what he's talking about. Hidden dev, oh shoot! Hidden dev right tackle. Ryan Ramsky is about to retire. Deion Gordon looking kind of suspicious over there too. I have to see what his overall is. I don't know if he's going in straight playing, but hitting Dev on the offensive line is hard to find. 88 strength, 82 excel, uh, 75 agility, 64 speed. Not too bad though. I'm, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna rock with it. Looking at our first trades of the draft, see if anything's interesting, a fourth round next year, fourth and seventh next year, I could take. Ooh, a third next year. Ooh, I like that. San Francisco getting bold, I'll take it. Give me a third round next year. Like I said, our dude's a day three. So, I mean, he can go anywhere between four and seven. I want to sit back and risk it. We already drafted a receiver, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's go to our next user pick. Uh, see if anything else is being offered up good. If it is, I might wait till our fifth round pick. You know, we got to start building for next year, too. I didn't have that many. I mean, I had 10 people on my board that I wanted to get. But realistically, I know I'd probably only get like four or five of them. Uh, just with the way that they were in the draft. You know, a bunch of different first round talents. Uh, a bunch of different second rounds and one two talents let's see fourth 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 this is the fourth and seventh this year fourth fourth five this year seven next year fourth and seven next year i will take i think the most now hope jacksonville sucks and take you know those two picks for one here's the end of the draft man we went in and traded all the rest of our picks nobody else was really there i wanted except for our founders dominant rough he was a udfa so i figured i'd draft him with our last pick uh no reason to waste the other ones get good um trades off of those but b finesse moves I'm not mad at it. he's a power rusher 22 years old i mean he's f block shedding but there's potential there to work on the power moves make him more of a pass rushing defensive tackle as well as he went 491 and 499 in the 40 so he's very fast and the finesse is probably going to be there as well 298 six foot three i could possibly move him to deep um to edge rusher right in left in and let him work out there so we will go ahead and draft him see what he's talking about mark hatchet normal dev 80 strength 77 acceleration 72 speed 22 years old but that will conclude the draft uh as long as baltimore person makes their pick we will go ahead and check out how the class did for us i mean a five player class this year uh i'm really happy about what we got you know i got everybody off my board i didn't have to like force a pick in there we used our trades to actually move up and down which i'm sure y'all probably like yeah finally bro stop hoarding the picks man but it is what it is. That's how I, that's how I draft. I get who I want to get. I don't make unnecessary picks. And I pick up the talent that we get. 76 overall. Defensive tackle at 21 years old. This dude's going to be a stud. <clears throat> this dude is going to be amazing. 21 years old. Already 76 overall. Power rusher. 75 run stopper. It's coming in with 78 block shed. 83 power move. 73 finesse. Oh, yeah. There it is. There he is. The rush defense, he don't even have to go nowhere, bro. He can stay right on the field. 78 block shed, 83 power moves. He's about to work. Now we got Reggie Holt stay from the outside. Let Trey Flowers go back into either coverage or take a breather on the bench. Uh, 72 all over here for Jerry's route. I don't know where that puts him as far as I looked outside linebackers, but he's got to be... I think that actually is better than Mark McCree already. I think he's a 70 overall. And he's a rookie at 72, 22 years old. Uh, 62 zone coverage coming in, 61 power move, 68 finesse, 82 speed, 71 block shed. He should come in and be a nice fit for us. Uh, 69 pass coverage, so it shouldn't take him long to be a pass coverage outside linebacker like I want him to be. I think he probably gets the start. No, no cap. Tevin Hadley, 72 overall. We know what we got with him though. 95 speed. I'm not mad at it. Cam, ooh, 76 with the uh, hidden dev trait. So 76 overall pass rusher, 72 finesse. Ooh, these are some good numbers. Yeah, the run blocking is terrible. 
67 overall run blocking with 81 power, 72 finesse, 82 power, 78 finesse, and 86 pass block. I mean, he might take over that right tackle spot. Ryan Ramsky, I'm not sure when your deal is up, but it better not be soon. And then obviously the dude just took a pass on 62 overall here, but that's not too bad coming from a UDFA that's probably going to make the roster. You know, he'll probably be defensive tackle number four because I think I only got two on roster right now. Here's the whole draft. Brett Ingram. I mean, if I had the capital to maybe go after him, if I knew I was going to get Cam like that, I probably could have traded my right tackle, my first overall pick, and maybe a future first, and maybe went and picked him up. But 81 overall, really good. Hidden Dev, of course. Run stopper, rookie out of UCF. He's going to be a problem for Philly. Ooh, that's a terrible top three pick. 72 overall for Mays. Quarterback ended up being 74 overall. Let's look at the highest overall grades. There were two 81s, actually. Marcus Charles running back. Going to the Chiefs, like they need more firepower on their offense. So 27th pick, so that's a really good value. Uh, Randy Daniels, 79 overall. Banks, you see a second rounder up here in the top with uh, Samuel. Where is it? So one of our picks didn't. Oh, there you go. Cam ended up being our highest one. 76 overall. And then obviously uh, Blackburn as well. So not that high up in the list, but it was a pretty good draft. Pretty strong. I like where it's got, you know, 80s coming in. You know, at a premium, but then a bunch of high 70s, which are still starters. Like if you're... Honestly, let's see, from like, really though, like 75 up, you could, on most teams, you're probably a starter. So, so I mean, that's a lot of good starter cap capability here at this top part of the list. So, I think the draft did good. We still got 20 million in cash space to go sign other people. Uh, we obviously got to fill up the roster a little bit more, make sure there's still some uh, competition battles there. But we're basically able to go ahead and get into preseason week one, 26.2 million. I will look at the roster see what people I want to bring in. Uh, I will obviously watch the preseason games on my own. If y'all want to see preseason, y'all let me know down below in the comment section and we'll do that for next offseason. I'll let y'all see the preseason. But this year, we'll watch them play out, watch the battles, and get into week one of the next time that you will see me. Well, you'll see cut week. You know, my favorite week, Grim Reaper week. And then we'll get into week one of the season taking on Dallas. I wish it was Baltimore, but we'll see them later. If y'all enjoyed the series, man, thank y'all so much. Uh, leave a like and subscribe down below. Comment anything that you want to see with the series, how you're loving it, all that stuff. Gaming channel is coming soon, and I love you guys so much for all the love and support you guys give in the series. I will catch you guys in the next video. Of course, the gameplay. Let me see how that look. But we outro in the video anyway. I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. It's me, boy, Sean Too Smooth, aka Black Okage, Black Avatar, King Leo. And I'll catch you guys next time. I'm gone. Peace.